pull out the part that um, has the JSON reading. Okay, you mean the, at the very beginning? Yeah. Okay, so so, so this is the on this whole yeah, thing. Yeah, exactly. So, so just copy all that. Um, yeah, and and then put it in this other activity. Yeah. Cool. Um, and then we'll wrap it in a method in the in a constructor actually, right? Oh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Now I'm going to feel really awkward because this is on camera, so I obviously can't remember anything. Of course, uh, because it's on camera. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, it's not <laughs> usually like that. <laughs> do we want to have a public method or a private method? Um, I usually put public. Uh, just You can yeah. either put public or package private at this point because they're in the same directory. Um, so we it, call it chat logic. It is, I, uh, I want the constructor, if that makes sense. Oh, sorry. What? You know what? Can I guess I, I can type. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So what I mean is chat logic. Oh, okay. So you're just yeah. I just want a constructor, and but we have a little bit of complication here because get asset is a, a method on the activity. Right. So if we just do that, then this will be involving Android code. Uh huh. So what we want to do is we'll pass in an input stream. So instead of having the input stream defined inside, if we do that, then it will be able to do run this whole thing on JVM without Android. OK, so you're going to pass that input stream in from the actual activity. Yep. And then, OK, great. So then this one is not happy, so we are going to do that. Um, so. Basically, it's saying, well, read it and stick it in, but if I find an exception, then nothing happens. Um, the generator class is final, so it's not happy. So we can just say no, or <laughs> we can have uh, an empty list so that it, um, is it, is it happy or not? Has already been assigned? What do you mean been assigned? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, OK. Let's see why it's unhappy. Yeah, so it's not happy here because it may not be initialized. Yeah. So usually the way I deal with such thing is like I make another method, uh, so that it's not bugging me about. <laughs> so now we have that. We can return question here. And then when we have an exception, then we return an empty list. I usually like doing empty list versus null because then nothing crashes. Oh, um, okay. So now then we can go back to the constructor and then I said read. So this way we like the compiler is not complaining anymore because uh, I am either returning this or that, but it knows for sure that you know this questions is going to be. Um, initialized. Okay, so we're pulling, we're making the new list of questions here, mm -hmm. and then we're pulling the input stream in, and we're saying, okay, for this new list of questions, read the questions from JSON. So then we're pulling that out into a separate method, uh, getting it from the buffered reader, etc., mm -hmm. and returning. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So now we can use it back in the activity, which you deleted, so I don't <laughs> know what we were doing before. Ah, okay. Cool. Actually, you know what? I'm going to undelete this because I need this line. So, um, well, I'm just going to, I, no, not like that. <laughs> I'm going to not highlight everything. Um, I will need to have like a chat logic object. Chat logic. And then I will have that input stream. I'm going to create a field for. Mm. So, unhandled exception. Oh, interesting. So what I was doing all like that was pointless. <laughs> because <laughs> oops, <laughs> uh, because it's like this try catch is not actually going to. Is it gonna, maybe it's going to catch something anyway because of uh, the 
maybe it's, it's still catching, it's probably still catching things from the buffered reader because usually when you try to catch an exception that nobody throws, it like, it, it doesn't, it's not, it's not doing anything and then the compiler is like, I hate you. <laughs> oh, okay, so it is actually catching that. Great. So it's fine. So we are actually doing something interesting. Um, so now that means that we still have to do this lovely mm. um, try catch, which is exactly the same as you had before, mm -hmm. right? Like your, your list of questions is going to be empty, which is okay. Right. Um, so the problem, well, the problem right now is that we have stored the questions inside this, uh, this object, but th this question is now not initialized. Right. But if we do, for now, we can do something like this. I like doing um, incremental things that you know still work every time. Uh, uh, is that like what do they call it? Red light, red light, yellow light, green light. Or oh, something? like TDD? No, yeah. it's not. Okay. Uh, so it basically just like I just want to make sure that I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna run this again. I just want to make sure that I make very small steps and I verify that things are still working yeah, as we sense. like do the refactoring. Usually, like when you think what you're thinking of is TDD, with the red green refactor, yeah, or yeah. red refactor green. I don't know whatever the whatever it is. is. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then, but I we don't have the test to do the green part. So the green part right mm -hmm. now is just manually going through and making sure that um, this is still working. So if I click, let's get started. Uh, Oh, you can't just press enter here. Yeah, there's some weird kinks in the. Um, yeah, but you didn't write that, so we're yeah, not exactly. going <laughs> to totally do anything about it. Um, <laughs> so, so all I'm, I did was do the green part, which is making sure that this doesn't crash. Cool. Um, so now we have that logic, and then we are going to refactor the next part. I know it's very boring. We're going to be just refactoring stuff here. Yeah, this is. We'll, we'll, fun, we'll get to the interesting part uh, soon enough. Uh -huh. uh, so now we can do the update next. So we don't have to re get rid of that part up there that we had deleted before. Which part? Mm. This part? Oh no. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Yeah, we don't need that. Good okay. call. Great. Yeah. I mean, it's just kind of doing extra work for no reason. But yeah. you're right. So good. <laughs> All right. So now, why don't you uh, move the 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 two functions, like the update current question and ask next question, into the okay, so do we want to add this? These are both going to be methods of the chat logic activity. Yeah, up the up. Well, let's see what. Well, let me hold on. Let's see what update current question actually does. It gets the first question and then remove it. Right. Um, and then it makes sure that what what is get response? Like, what does that do? Um, if get response. Can we go into the the actual class? Oh, it's a question class. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Mm, mystery. I don't remember. I don't know what it is. Oh, uh, that's okay. I think we could just do it. Do it like a. a I think it's just making sure refactor. that. Yeah, I think it's just making sure that yeah. like it's not empty. Because if it is empty, then we should just like stop. <laughs> okay, so we make sure it's not empty, and then we get the type, and then if the type is the type the kind that you just press a button and not actually type it in, then we get rid of the keyboard. Right. Yeah. So, um, and, and that's just because for some reason the fragment that we loaded in as a library doesn't yeah. do that automatically. So then that the app just kept freezing up. So um, we just we're just throwing that in to get rid of the keyboard when those come up. Right. Mm hmm. So I, I'm kind of curious too, like this current question, uh, is it going to be used elsewhere in this, uh, oh. yes. in this activity? Yeah, so current question is, is just the, it's the placeholder for the question that you're asking right now in the app. So there's a bunch of different usages of it throughout here. Oh yeah, all these functions call mm -hmm. all these different things. Okay, uh, uh, the reason why I'm asking is because I'm wondering whether I want to store that uh, in the activity or store it in the chat logic or both? Because like we have this question and then we will need to do all these other things about question text message dot 
basically what I'm trying to get at is mm -hmm. fundamentally what I want chat logic to do is to hoard as much logic as it, it it makes sense. Mm -hmm. uh, so I want to know what is the final thing that we want to hand it over to the fragment. So, uh, so I guess at the end of the day, you are going to be calling this add new message method, which takes what does it take? It takes a message. Uh, which how do we construct this message? Question message, text message. Oh, okay. So this is this is an object that we could actually return like so basically what i'm trying to get at is instead of yeah. having update current what what are the methods called like update update current question and ask current question uh -huh. like maybe what we want is actually just like get next prompt or, or get next message for like for the chat get next chat message or get question chat message. I don't know what. Um, and you want to pull all the logic of that out into this other class yeah. and then just have the results here. Yeah. Yeah. Because then that way, we don't really necessarily care about all that, right? Because at the end of the day, I, like, the thing I'm thinking of is just like, ask, answer, ask, <laughs> answer. Like, that's all it does. And then because once you do that, then when you have branching, like you can put all the branching stuff in the chat logic part. And then it just needs to receive the an the answer and then decide decide what next question to ask. Right now the decision is super easy. The next one, uh, but and it's just returning it back here. Yeah, yeah I don't know if that's too much like uh, refactoring. Be, it might be a decent amount of refactoring. Okay. Um, I wonder if there's a smaller version of that we could do for now. Um, it is it is a little spaghetti codeish here, isn't it? No, no, uh, no, it's not. I mean, it's it makes sense actually. It's just how. Um, yeah, we, we kept all the logic in the activity, which is just a factor of moving fast. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. So, okay, so I guess we are at a point where I can either show you a little bit of like how to set up the test, or we could actually continue the refactoring and like pull all these things out, uh, because it sounds like you a little bit uneasy about <laughs> pulling all this logic out. Um, I, I, I shouldn't be uneasy. I totally trust you. <laughs> I, I'm just nervous that it would take a while. I see. Okay. I'm, why, not, why, I'm not sure how much time you have. I see. Well, I guess what we'll do maybe, like, I'll just uh, show you how to do what, write one test, <laughs> and then I'll give you the recipe of the rest, um, you know, and then maybe we'll do a follow-up episode and see, you know, what was how the, we, you know, like, the rest yeah, of the two days later, like, what happened? Because that, that made spend a little more time refactoring it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I think at least, like, I, I think at least we get to the point where you have something to go by. So why don't we test, right. um, why don't we test the get questions um, thing? I can show you. Actually, that's not trivial either. So I'll let me just show you how to do that um, to, to set this up. So.